Hey everyone, um, I thought I'd do something a little different, come outside and do my video blog out here. So, um, something that's kind of been on my heart lately, like really probably the past two days, is the feeling of adequacy. And like, I've learned over like the past couple of days that like even though I tell myself I feel adequate and I know, you know, God's love is the most important thing to me, I find myself being so uh, consumed with trying to please other people and trying to make myself uh, look adequate in their eyes that it's affecting me. And so what I mean by that is like, uh, for example, I'm not very strong, okay, I look kind of, I'm underweight, stuff like that. And so when I see these big guys in the gym, I kind of almost envy them. I'm like, well, they're probably the ones that get all the girls. Just look at them, they look you know, big and strong and powerful and all this. And so I let all these lies of Satan telling me that I have no worth or my worth is diminished because I don't look just like them. And so I see myself, my physical self, um, being affected. That I just feel like I have a backpack of bricks on. Or that my score is affected. You know, I really believe that my the reason I'm not doing as good in school as much as I like to is I'm adopting all of these thoughts in my mind, all of these lies, and it's just burdened me so much I have this all in my mind that I can't focus on my studies, which is what God called me here for. So, kind of just to not make this like a confession on blog or something, but more how did this affect me, why do you need to take time to record this? Is, I don't think I'm the only one that's affected by this. I think a lot of times, we get caught up in wanting to be adequate that we miss out on what God has for us. Like for example, for another example, for me, relationship is a big issue. Being having a girlfriend, having someone's hand to hold, all that stuff. And so when I see that on campus, it's a struggle not to be jealous. But when I realize, okay, I want to be in God's will. I want to wait on his time because just because they're in a relationship, that doesn't mean they're following God's will either. Okay? And so something that's really been, God's really been working me on and teaching me is about not only just His will and being comfortable in doing that, even when there's mystery involved, even when I don't know everything about it, is waiting on His timing because there's so much joy in being in God's will and waiting on His timing and being fulfilled by what He has for you than trying to play God yourself and be um, in the midst of chaos and destruction and unhappiness and sadness. And so my kind of my encouragement to you here is that, you know, if you're like anything like me and it's really hard to focus on school or really hard to um, focus on just life in general, different things, um, just seek after God's counsel on that. And that seems like, well, duh, you know, but I'm not trying to give like a little church answer. I'm being serious. And, you know, maybe, maybe there are things that are out of the ordinary that have happened in your life. Maybe um, your parents just got a divorce or your, you know, father left on angry terms. Or maybe you've had a death in the family, and so you're trying to um, settle that that grief and that um, lost love, and, and not knowing what really being cared for feels like. Um, I just pray that you would honestly seek um, after God and what He wants. Just be real with Him. Just be honest. Say what's on your heart. Say if you're mad at Him, tell Him, "Hey, I'm mad at you, and I'm just I don't want to be that way." Okay, and so don't don't you know, butter up or suck up to God when you pray to Him. Just be real with Him. And so, um, you know, if you go to my school, then I'm more than uh, happy to talk with you sometime and pray with you. Uh, even if not, just send me a message on Facebook or something like that. And um, I'll definitely talk with you and uh, look at sort of some things that maybe you're struggling with. Um, so that's all I have right now. Just a little something that was on my heart. Um, I pray that all you have a good day and um, you can kind of just rest in God's love and um, his compassion for you. Cool? Alright, well I'll talk to all of you later. Goodbye.